another episode of Victoria 2 Hard Doctors, The Lefons! Lefonsens Campaign! Campage, I think it is actually. But, we are back here in this campaign of awesomeness, and last time I just basically explained what my general plans are for the entire for the entire game. I'll show it to you guys again if you guys did not see last episode. It's this. If you want a more in-depth look about what this all means, go back to my previous episode. I explain it, I guess, pretty well there. Alright? And last episode, I want to apologize for two things, and that is, one, for my disorganization in how I presented the information, and two, how I was stammering a lot. I'm very sorry for that. That was not my, like, best moments ever, but... Hope you guys can forgive me for that, and hope we can, moving forward, can forget that awful incident. Ah. Ah, dang. Slow down. Slow down. Okay. I'm having a little bit of fraps problem, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But, right now we're just waiting for our causes belly to kind of, you know. You know, I think I'll just go in this road. We're waiting for our causes belly to kind of jump off and, you know, make. And right now we're also kind of expanding the French military with new ships. That's always great. And well, I'm also thinking of it doing expanding this. And I think I now can make all the forts I need. So let's... An age of liberalism! While Napoleon and his armies have been defeated, the fundamental ideas of the French Revolution have not been. In Germany, the old crowns of the Holy Roman Empire have been wrought to naught, and the feudal contracts of old replaced by Napoleon's civilist, civil ideas. Everyone in Europe, in coffee houses and universities, the idea of liberalism, political reform, freedom of speech, and the rights of the people, rather than that of the monarchs are proving again the old problem that there is no stopping an idea whose time has come. Minorities long yoked under crowns and scepters are waking up to the realization that fate is theirs to make. And across faraway oceans, the rich of Africa and Asia beckon. As the dust settles on Waterloo, European stands again at the beginning of a new era. The Age of Imperialism! Oh, we expect... We expect increased liberal activity in the coming years. Hoorah! But I really don't like the liberals. <laughs> okay. We can create Saint... We can create the Saint... We can create... Does that just mean we can release a nation, I think? Am I correct? No, that's not what it means. So, does that mean I actually have a colony? Let's go to Colonial Map Mode, because this is actually useful now. Migrations, Civilization Level, No Crisis. Ah. Colonial Map Mode. Can I finish this off? No. Okay. Yeah, I send a colony all the way inside of Mexico in there, and to try to... I don't know. Okay, so no, 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 no. Okay, then, dang, where is this... Where is this create a colony thing? We can create a state in South Pia and Megwin. Hmm. You know... Wait. South Pierre, that might be... No, that's St. Louis. That's Grand Basin. I don't know where these two places are, and they're not... Okay. Searching time. Find problems. Saint Pierre. Oh. Well, 
I'm very happy for you people that you guys can gain independence. But no. You know, I honestly will not use that place at all. In fact, I think I'll forget about it until like Rebels come and take it over and I'll be like, oh. What's that place called again? Ah. That place. A little dinky place in that in Canada. Okay, let's begin again. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. So we at least want to be traveling about we know full speed. So we don't want to be too bad where our flaps can't keep up. It might also help if I just like zoom out. Oh! A creatist on economics. A liberal professor at the time of our universities has published a parliament on economics that has received serious attention in liberal circles born in French and abroad. The Parliament is for a profound little tract arguing in eloquent terms the virtues of free ma marketing and laissez-faire and the author is now being mentioned in the same breath as luminaries such as Ricardo and Smith. We can decry the Parliament as a spurious piece of liberal propaganda, but then again, he might have a point? Obviously you must, pri must take pride in this publication. Or... Certainly, this is only propaganda designed to exploit the working class. Hmm. Well, right now, my economy isn't quite ready for a laissez-faire. So, no. Like, not quite yet. I'm not ready for it yet. And democracy in America. I've never seen this event. In 1835, Alex, Alexis de... Tocqueville published his Democracy in America, which was immediately recognized as a classic in both America and France. Yay! In it, he remarked on the legitimacy and the religious religiosity of Americans, something that remains a puzzle to Europeans today. Tocqueville is one of the few historians with more than one classic to his credit. His other great work, The Old Regime and the French Revolution, was published in 1856, just three years before his death. Well, good job! Viva la défense! I think. So let's go differences. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you! Thank you! I, I take this honor with great... with great... pride in my French people. Alright. So the next thing we need to do... We just kind of just chill here as our French, as the French do, and we wait for this Casa Belli, which, how long will it take? We're nearly there. <laughs> and then our evil first part of our plan will begin. And as I can see, the Ottomans are taking over AAA. And there we go. A local charter at the Carterless Society called for a broadening of the voting franchise and an end to land, to land and voter rates. It's open in Lydia. Oh, great. Suppress the society. Suppress it? Or... You know, I'll say, oh, great. Because that seems like it will actually pay off in the end. Alright. So now that we have our... Mini armies here. It's time to invade Tunis. Do do do! Call in allies? No, I, I really don't need to. I mean, this is, this is honestly just going to be me killing Tunis. It won't even be that big of a problem. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Okay, and I'll have you guys go block their ports. And, with the combined, oh shoot. Are they actually winning? No, 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 they're still losing. By a lot, may I add. The Battle of Tunis was turned our way. We lost a good amount of soldiers because of a little bit of stupidity on my part. Um, I'll be sending these guys to go mop up my stupidity. Go make sure these guys, or at least the Tunis troops, do not go in and go do something stupid. So, secret society. Liberals causes have started to gain traction in Auckland, which no one knows for sure. Okay. Just give me li that. Liberal agitation. Mm. I'm so glad I invested in the water. 
this time. This seriously does help a lot. Okay, and we can create a protectorate in South Madagascar. We can create a protectorate in Indian Ocean Territory. Huh? Okay, that makes no sense. How is that South Madagascar when that's Madagascar? Yeah, I, I don't know. This The naming scheme, I just realized it's kind of flawed, but let's create a protectorate. Create a protectorate. And over here, create a protectorate. Yay! Now we own here. Okay, now we're, once we're done with our invasion of tennis, which has just begun, we can begin our... And this time it should be a slaughter because I have instant supplies. Yep. Slaughter. And... Oh, a newspaper! A newspaper! And I'll actually read it to you guys. So, Les Tombs! War between France and Tunis. Well, that's us, so I won't read that. Victory! On the 1st of October, 1836, we defeated 18,000 Tuscanian troops in Tunis. That's us again. Wattenberg is our best friend. What? We fear the United States of A? A recent article in the... American newspapers startled the nation. A detailed analysis of their chilly relationships with the with the United Kingdom led the editor to the conclusion that absence new guarantees both countries might soon find themselves in a state of war. Oh Scientists in Bulgaria have recently completed research into experimental rebel. Good job for you, Bulgaria. But French in the UK situation? Hmm. And then democracy is America, we already know. Yeah, you know, that is a, that is Kind of startling. We can create a colony in French. Okay. Now that we've taken over this. Okay, select. I'll just have these guys go right there. Have these guys go right there. Yeah, we basically blocked them off now. They're dead. Um, now that we have that. Now, apparently I can create colonies now. Out of these two places. Click to convert to upgrade to colony. Okay. Huh. So apparently, there's apparently a step up from protectorate, which is called colony. Who would have known? So I just did that, and that was pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have... Liberal insurrection. Uh, negotiate with the leaders. Hmm. Alright, we need to... Anti-Jacobson tract. In a time when the voice, voices of revolution threaten to overthrow the all, all the long-established orders of the Europe, it becomes our sacred duty to voice our dissent. The Jacobsons, holding nothing sacred save the profane and courtesans pending false ideologies. What Rose Pierre's terror brought to, to France, the radicalism now threatens to impose on France. The widespread liberal agitation in France has mobilized the forces of, of reactions and a leading conservative intellectual has published an anti-Jacobson act tract. That's good, I guess. Wait. Speaking of which, okay, no rebels are rebelling in my nation. That's good. Okay, you guys move in here, move down to kill out the last colonists. Ah, and then, we should be done. The first act, Jacobson, blast. Hate you, Jacobson. Secret society. Uh, pass the audience against it. How, why is Avignon... Avignon, why are you threatening my empire? What have I ever done to you? I mean, we're buddies. You have one of the best, you have the oldest bridge in the world. Random fact about France, it does have, that place has the oldest bridge in the entire European world. It's about 2,000 years old and it's called like Saint Bastique. Saint Bastique. <sighs> but, oh, <laughs> that usually never happens. So, apparently there are things going on diplomatically I'm not looking at. War justifications, uh, Persia wants to get one on Afghanistan, that's a new one. Okay... 
Huh. The world looks about this looks about what it should be. And how is my taxes? Are my seriously aggravating anyone? No. But the rich are the rich doing my bidding or are they just being Hmm. The being the rich which kind of annoys me right now. Cause we seriously need to like expand, expand our factories. Which I'm not apparently doing, which I'm kinda getting annoyed. Okay, but what we need to do is expand our not only our roads but our naval capacities. With our money, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Just kind of expanding our roads. He sounds a fiery Sherman. He sounds like a reasonable man. I don't know. I don't know him personally, so, you know, let's try him out. You know, you never know. <laughs> okay. We only have a couple more colonies to deal with. Jacobson. Class! Curse you, Jacobsons! You guys are going to be... I feel like they're going to be my main enemy in this campaign. It isn't going to be the German. It isn't going to be the Germans. It's going to be the stupid Jacobsons. <laughs> and they're even causing some of my own... Blast. Yep, these guys are starting to become annoying. Okay, and they're allied with Aja. Yeah. Aja? Ah, I can also take over Aja if I really want to. <laughs> okay. Okay. We just have two more regions to go. And then we'll be done with our conquest of Tunis. And a new newspaper! I love reading these, actually. War between Brazil and Paraguay! Yay! Swedish insult! What? An unnamed source in Switzerland reports that the government there is preparing for the worst. A fictitious scenario involving a war de declaration by our country against this is deemed possible and top military of officers consider our military my fighting. Well, I would be fighting on my military too. Thank you. That's actually, that's actually kind of a compliment. Thank you. Um, the United States expands, breakthrough and, and hangover, um, prices rise, um, the Salba, the De, the De La Vie, Le Vons, Lenu, Lenu, um, Heston Downschmidt relations. Okay. That's the taunts, everyone. Okay. And time to finish up. Come on, finish this up, finish this up. Go down here. Just have to take over that little part. Actually, will they just, will they actually accept Protectorate now. Proposed peace. They would not accept this yet. Well, definitely conquering that region will persuade him. Okay. Now they have no say in it. They will accept this offer? Proceed. And the annexation of Tunis has begun. So, people, you know what that means. The first part of my massive invasion, which I love showing, has been finished. So, if I could, I would delete all this. I'll figure out how to. Meh. But with that, I will see you guys next time or in the near future.